Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. I am back at the theater, as you can tell, and as promised last night, I did wear sweatpants. I don't know, I just didn't feel like wearing real pants. Not that like my the pants that I wear to work are like <laughs> restraining or anything. They're basically like acceptable pajamas to wear, but you know, whatever. I'm hoping to go for a walk later with my friend because it's not supposed to raining, so Sweatpants is a better thing to have because it is quite brisk out there. I think it's four degrees, which is better than yesterday. Today, I just have a few tasks to do around the theater and then I can get into sewing, which is so exciting. God, I hate it. Like I make that joke all the time because it's just such an easy one to make. Anyways, I slept pretty well last night, which was great, but I had this weird dream where I was in blind channel and there was someone there who had betrayed my trust. It wasn't someone that I've worked with before. Like, it was just like some random person who worked there. But they betrayed my trust like twice. We got into a big fight in the store. And then I was like trying to rectify it to be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And he was just being a jerk. And so then I just left because <laughs> I was like, I'm not dealing with this. And then I got to meet the new puppy though, which was exciting in my dream to meet the puppy. One day I will get to meet the real puppy, but it's just little. Anyways, weird dream for sure, but I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink now. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna ramble forever because it feels like one of those days. So if it becomes one of those days, sorry in advance, and I will check in with you. The struggle is currently very real and I am one sleepy bunny. <laughs> it is currently a time it's just about five, so I got off work at noon, and my friend picked me up, we grabbed some Starbucks, we drove, and we drove, and we drove, and then we went for like a 5K walk, and then we had to drive back from where we drove to, and um, got home at like 3.30, maybe closer to four. Definitely just like changed and crashed in my bed for a while there. Just got up, got the laundry started, which is exciting. Oh, wait a minute. Hey Google, cancel timer. All right, consider it canceled. Hey Google, can you set a timer for 26 minutes, please? Okay, 26 minutes. I definitely set a starting now. I definitely set a timer for an hour when it should have been half an hour, so that's how well my brain's working. But in exciting news, I did get this shipment today, which is uh, boxes. <laughs> These are boxes that flat pack. Man, my brain cannot describe this. These boxes were shipped flat packed, which is very nice. This is a sample slash trial size of the boxes. So that I think is a medium. This one looks like the small and this one looks like the large. And I got it because I wanna eventually start selling my embroidery. And I figured that these would be perfect because they fit through the slot of doom which if you didn't know what it is, I'll get my slot of doom. This is the Canada Post slot of doom. So anything that can go through this bottom one can go by regular oversized letter mail. So these can do that, which is exciting. See, they fit through. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can fit hoops into these. So give me one second, let me build one and we'll test it. Alrighty, so I built the small box. This is the smallest size and can I do this one hand it? I can fit a three inch hoop in there. That's like perfect. And I think with padding, it would still fit like just tissue paper. So that's cool. I wonder, I don't know if a five could fit in this. I'm too lazy to build it right now. Um, but I think it very like maybe a four inch, but I think a five inch could fit in this one. So yeah, that's like super exciting and great. So I'm so glad that I came across these. The company is Slotbox. Um, it's a Canadian-based company, so that's super exciting. And um, yeah, slotbox.com. I think they also have like on their website a 20% off for your first purchase, which I completely missed, but I'm sure I can um, do that if I actually order a decent amount like I would probably get this size because like that is in there so secure so great like it's not making noise <laughs> and then whichever size fits the five inch but 
yeah, I'm jazzed about that. And as promised, it fits through the slot of doom. Anyways, I'm going to go now. I'm just puttering. I probably, I've got 15 minutes before I go get my laundry. So like maybe I'll make my bed or something. Yeah, I don't know. I want to sew these masks today. That's about the only thing that's on my list on my list. And I need to find a file um, to send to Jessica. Um, my historical comics that I wrote. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, 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 it has been some time, shockingly. It's um, 20 after 10. I am just gassed. I did my laundry. Like, I don't even remember when I last picked up the camera. I think it was when I first got home. I did my laundry, so that is exciting. I had dinner. I sewed up a bunch of masks. There was one that was one that somebody, uh, the making for somebody, and on like the last, like on this piece here, I had like, I don't know, my needle did a weird thing and then the thread broke. And then after I finished sewing it around, I noticed that the wire was sticking out. So I got to redo it. So that's annoying. But I was like, here, mom, here's a mask that you didn't ask for. So yeah, so I have to redo that. My mom sold another two poppy masks at work today. So I think out of the 26 I made... I sold 19 and by sold 19 like I kept one for myself but that's pretty good um so they'll just go away for next year because I guess this is probably going to be a thing forever mask wearing I also oh I made myself a Grinch mask <laughs> it's like my favorite Christmas movie anyways I truly think I need to up my mask storage because I just keep making myself masks yeah and those I'll have to put away properly in a bit here but yeah that's where I'm at I think I'm gonna go to sleep now I'm just gonna continue this vlog tomorrow because I did not do much today tomorrow I will go to Fabricland if it's open I don't know if it will be because it is a stat because it is Remembrance Day but we'll see but I'm gonna go to sleep now so I will see you tomorrow when we do well I'll see you in a few seconds when we just keep doing very similar things <laughs> good night for now look at that hair Look at that hair. <laughs> Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. It is currently 9 o'clock on Wednesday, and I was about to get dressed to uh, go for a walk, and it is raining outside. Just a little, but considering it's only 3 degrees, I don't really want to go outside and get, like, really, really cold and wet. So we'll wait for a while. We'll see if things change. Maybe it's my bad for like, I woke up at 7.30 and I was like, no, I don't want to get up. So maybe that's my bad. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm going to get dressed anyways, or maybe just put on my pajama pants because they're super cozy. I don't know. And I'm going to either have something to eat or have a breakfast drink. I haven't decided yet. And then maybe fold my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know. I made a list yesterday. I did not include folding my clothes on it. I don't know why, but we'll see. And then later I'm going to go downtown because there's a couple things I need to get. Hopefully Fabricland is open, um, but who knows? But that's where we're at. Just want to start the day strong. <laughs> Alrighty, I did it. You might be able to tell from the flesh on my face, but I went for a walk to stay brisk slightly over 5k walk. I can't remember exactly what it was, um, but I got, you know what, let's check because I think I hit my best um, solo pace. The only problem is, is there's construction. I know I've mentioned it a million times before and that really slowed me down. My pace was 1018 per kilometer, which was pretty good. It would have been faster, but like I said, the, the dirt, the unpacked dirt that I had to walk through was just like, I'm like, I'm it slowed me down and there were a couple times too when I had to like slow massively down to let people pass on the other side because there are people in front of me yeah anyways it was good I am glad that I got out and did it and um just watching some YouTube I have changed and I'm thinking maybe we'll go out soon I'm gonna go check in with my mom and if we're not gonna go out soon I'm gonna make myself some food if we are gonna go out soon then I we'll get food while we're out. Wow. I don't know why that was really hard for me, but yeah, so great way to start the day. Would have started the day a little bit earlier, but it was raining, but it's fine. And, um, yeah, I'm just still got to it. It's fine. Alrighty. I am back. It is currently quarter to three. I just scarfed two McDonald's hamburgers because why not? <laughs> um, on our way back from doing some shopping because I had to get some things. First off, so exciting. I had to get some allergy medicine because, you know, my allergy game is strong. 
or very weak, depending on how you look at it. But in exciting news, our superstore finally carries a life brand, which is the stuff I like. No name brand knockoff. I also got some throat lozenges because I like to have them. And points. Superstore points are pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know. I picked up some more bobbins for my sewing machine because I've just been getting more and more thread and today was not an exception. And so this should be enough to deal with what I need on top of what I have. Yep, that was a sentence that worked. <laughs> I'm also still trying to find more storage. So I picked this two tier storage situation up. I think it'll work well for scrunchies because I should be able to do like four layers or four types on each one i'm hoping that's the plan because the scrunchy storage is still a situation if this works well i will get more i bought myself a heater because it is getting cold in here and my dyson heater is acting up and i just i don't want to fight with it so bought a heater instead haha <laughs> i win dyson heater <laughs> you're out for now and then i went to get an oversized hoodie to or crew neck sweatshirt to embroider on <laughs> but the selection was terrible I was thinking like getting a men's extra large because that would be oversized on me and the all they had in like a color that I liked was this <laughs> 3xl in a men's so it's going to be very cozy but I can sleep in it if nothing else that's that's the thoughts on that and then I went to Fabricland so you know <laughs> We got problems. I picked up this thread for work <laughs> because we're almost out of thread, but we all are also almost done sewing the seat cover. So my lady I work with was like, hey, if you could just pick up one and then we'll see how that goes because she still has quite a bit on her bobbin. And by bobbin, I mean spool. I got a bunch of thread here. It's all red and green. So you know what that means and a little bit of blue. It means Christmas fabric time for Christmas masks. <laughs> I have had so many people asking about Christmas masks and uh, so I bought fabric for Christmas masks. First off, I just got um, a bunch more fabric for linings. I need to take off this tape that was on it before I wash it, <laughs> but I got four meters so I should be good for a while, although last time I got three meters and um, I'm almost out okay I wouldn't say I'm almost out but I've been going through it quickly so I figured I should get some more while I'm there especially because all the fabric that I got probably adds up to about three meters worth so and then I got this very exciting fabric which is um insole bright I think is what it's called it's got a tag here somewhere yes it is called insole bright and it can go inside of oven mitts and pot holders and stuff and I am so excited to try making some pot holders and oven mitts potentially it looks like it has a pattern to here that um it tells you how to make an oven mitt so that is very exciting and now last but not least onto the christmas fabric so i got a couple fat quarters so i got this red and gold one this green and gold which is the exact same just in a different color i got this blue and white snowflakes I got these merry christmas puppies they're so cute <laughs> poinsettias holly plaid slash tartan, whichever way you want to call it. Trees in gold. <laughs> Some more snowflakes, just a uh, multicolor this time. And then this one here, which is just says Merry Christmas and a bunch of different vintagey style things. Oh, it says, and Happy New Year, cool. Anyways, that's where we're at. I did the shopping, I spent money, exciting. I need to wash all this fabric now before I can take pictures of it and get orders. Uh, so that's what I think I'm gonna do today. It did start raining a little bit, but we'll see. But that's where we're at. And um, I guess I will, I'm just staring at my list. I guess I will get on that now and then see, see where we go. <laughs>
I was hoping the next time I picked up the camera was going to be to successfully announce that I had like folded all my clothes, washed and dried the fabric, but I went to go get the fabric after it had been in the dryer for an hour and it was like soaking wet still. And I was like, did someone open the dryer and not restart it? And so I went, I got money and I put it in again and I just went to grab it and it was still running this time when I opened it and everything was still just so wet. So I guess that dryer is broken, which is great because <laughs> That's like three bucks to find out that it's broken and now I have to wait until the other dryer is free. Love that. So that's an ongoing process. I figure it'll probably be like 40 minutes before the other dryer is free. So I set a timer for that. We're making progress here. Also, I'm wearing this like really giant sweater and I'm not gonna lie, it is so comfy. <laughs> Why did I not get on this oversized trend a long time ago? But like I like the sleeves go well past my hand. Anyways, it is currently quarter to six. It's time to start getting dinner ready to go. My mom's already on it. I'm gonna go join her because she was sleeping earlier napping, so I didn't want to go down. And um, yeah, we'll um, do that. And then hopefully I will have some dry Christmas fabric soon and I can take pictures and start getting orders. Also, I think I figured out what I'm gonna do with my English oh, dry erase board there. I think I'm gonna move this because it's hoops anyways and like move it up there somewhere maybe in the middle I don't know <laughs> and then I'll move that up to just under my writing board which is still set up for October. Well done me. And I think that should be good so that's in the books for I don't know when tomorrow I have to at least I have to edit one vlog if not do all the editing. I need to get that back under control basically not just edit for an entire day and then let it go and then edit for an entire day no not cool anyways i'm gonna go for now and i will check on check, 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 check. i'll check in with you after dinner okay so it's now 10 30 i am happy to report that after waiting like an hour to put my stuff in the other dryer i did get all my fabric clean and dry. It is all nice and folded. I also cut some, I cut a mask that I had to redo because the wire poked through on like the last seam. I think I mentioned it yesterday. Um, I eat earlier in this vlog and I also cut some of my sparkly galaxy fabric for scrunchies and then I got the terry cloth ready to go. I'm going to cut this tomorrow. That's only been like a month in the making but it is fine but I think we get ready to go to bed now because... I'm just, I'm not doing anything productive, if we're being honest. So with that, I'm going to say thanks so much for coming along on the last two days of the adventuring and whatnot, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.